Hi everyone, my name's Kira, and I'm going to be doing your tutorial for Artshine today. We've got this really fun project lined up. It's called Little Love Bugs, and I've named it that because we have these really beautiful little butterflies, ladybugs, dragonflies, and bumblebees that we're going to be creating today. So to get started, make sure that you have all the materials you need. We're going to be needing one piece of paper for the background, and another piece of paper that we're going to be using to draw, cut out, and fold our little love bugs. So to do this, you're also going to be needing a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a sharpie. If you don't have a sharpie, that's okay. You just need a black marker. This is what we're going to start with for drawing all of our background and little bugs as well as some coloring. So right here I have just a simple pack of markers, um, but you can use crayons, pencil crayons, markers, anything you have to color in your project. So to start, I'm gonna be taking my Sharpie and we're gonna start making some beautiful little plants all for our background. And just as a friendly reminder, if at any point you need to pause this video, if I'm going too fast, just pause it and take any time you need to catch up. So, to start, I'm going to take my one sheet of paper and I'm going to draw some stems. So I'm just drawing a few straight line stems. And we want them to be different heights. So, for instance, this one is longer than this one. And I'm going to do one that maybe is like a little more curly and I'll have it follow like that. We'll do another long one, a short one, one medium. And that looks pretty good to me. So once you're happy and you have all the lines that you want, now we're going to be adding the details. So as you can see in the drawing, there's all kinds of different shapes. So we have some triangle leaves, we have some circle leaves, and kind of like a few little dots. So, on my first one here, I'm gonna make this one with lots of leaves. So I'm going to draw two leaves up top. Just kind of making them bigger as I go down. So I started with little circles, and now I am making big circles all the way down and then for this one we have these funny little kind of flowers that are all pointy so you're going to do a bunch of little straight lines and then angle them beside it so if I'm angling them down like that and I can add as many lines as I want to make it look more full. So that's kind of fun. And then we want to have some little leaves on this one. So how I'll do that is I'll just draw kind of like a half circle line and another half circle line. Now for this one, I'm going to make it so it's kind of like a tree branch. So I'm going to have some other lines coming off of it, just like that. We're gonna make some other little branches on the branches that we just drew. And you can have them go like up high, you can have some come down lower. So since there's a space here, I'm gonna fill in some spots. So we want our drawings to be nice and full. Now what this one needs is some little dots to fill it in as well. So. You're just going to draw like little circles, kind of like around. See how I'm just going around it? It doesn't even have to touch the branches necessarily. Just to give the idea that we've got some buds or some berries or something on our tree. Now for this one, the three, 
It's going to be kind of like this one, but it's a little more fun because you get to like zigzag. So you're going to start at the top and you're just going to go side to side zigzagging. You can make them wider or shorter. It's a bunch of zigzags like that to kind of give the illusion of a flower. I'm going to do the same on these other two. I'm going to start small, go bigger, go small again. So you start small, then you're coloring and zigzagging there. Now for this one, I'm going to do a bunch of triangle little leaves. So you're going to want your triangles to start really small and go bigger all the way down. So I'll have two little ones just like that. And they don't have to be the same size on each side, but it's okay either way if they're the exact same or they're not. As we know in nature, things aren't always identical. So don't worry if it's not a perfect reflection. But I'm just gonna try to make these a bit bigger as I go down all the way to the ground. And this one, I'm gonna have it do the same kind of triangle leaves, but I'm not gonna have them so straight. And instead of having them side by side, I'm gonna kind of put them anywhere I want. So I'm gonna make it like a swoopy triangle like that. And I'm gonna have them just go all the way down here. And see how I'm kind of doing every other space so that you have a gap in between. And we'll do one more there. So I think that's looking pretty good. I think I could use one more similar one to here because I've got some space. And if you also have space, I encourage you to fill it in. So I'm gonna draw one more stick, just like that. I'm gonna have it come half the height of this one. That way it looks nice and staggered. And I'm gonna draw some straight lines and then I'm going to go again diagonally like this and like this. And don't forget that you want to have a leaf or two, so we'll do little branches. So that is my background. It's just in black and white right now. But we're missing a few things. We're missing the most important part. We're missing our little love bugs. So to just start with our love bugs, we're also going to just keep working in our black Sharpie marker or any other marker that you may have. So I have some ladybugs, some bees, butterflies, and dragonflies. If you like any other kind of bug, I encourage you to draw it. What's kind of fun about this one though, is that they all have wings. So we want all of our bugs to have wings because we're gonna be folding them so that they give this 3D effect on the page. So to start drawing my little love bugs, I'm gonna do a ladybug. So to draw a ladybug, you're going to do just a circle. And then from your circle, I'm going to draw a line right across. So you're cutting the circle almost halfway, but not quite. And then another line down from it. So you're kind of drawing a T in your circle. And then we are going to need some wings. So a wing is just like a loop-de-loop -loop guy like that on one side and the other side. And now our ladybug needs some spots. So we can do the spots in our black marker. So I'm going to draw some spots for my ladybug and color them in. And now the last thing we need are little antennas so our ladybug can see and smell and hear things. So, got its little antennas. So, that's one ladybug and we are having two on our page. You can do as many ladybugs as you want. It's up to you guys. I'm going to stick with doing two. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to draw a circle and draw like a T in my ladybug. Give them some spots. It's 
some wings, and antenna. Perfect. Now I'm going to draw my bumblebees. So my bumblebee, you're also going to start by drawing a circle, but your circle is going to be a bit smaller this time. So I'm going to draw my circle, and that's going to be the head of my bumblebee. And I'm going to color in my circle. So that's the bumblebee head. And now we're going to draw his body. So his body is kind of like a V shape. So I'm going to draw the one side of my V and the other side and connect it with the body. And this is going to be striped because bumblebees kind of wear these like striped jackets. And it's their favorite style really, just wearing stripes all the time. So we're coloring them in and our bee also needs some wings. So we're going to do the same kind of wings and just connect them like that and little antennas. And I'm going to do one more bee. So we'll draw our circle and I'm going to color this in. Going to give my bee his little body. Make my bee fashionable with some stripes. Give him some wings so my bee can fly and some little antenna. Now we're gonna work on our dragonflies. So the dragonflies have super long bodies. So we're gonna draw kind of like a really skinny hot dog. I'm gonna draw that and I'm gonna color my body in. So I'm gonna color all the way in. He gets his little antenna. And the dragonfly's wings are also wide and skinny, so and he has two, so he's got two little ones. Just like that. So you should count four wings. And I'm going to do one more dragonfly. And you're just trying to fit them in wherever you have space on your page. Do you need to get another piece of paper because you run out of space? That's no problem. So I'm going to add my second dragonfly in this corner, color it in, add a little antenna, and wings. Now the last thing left, we have our little butterflies. So our butterflies have bigger bodies, but they're kind of like the bees. So we're going to start by drawing a circle. Then we're going to color our circle in. Just like that. And now we're going to give it a circle kind of body like that. So our bees was a V shape where this one is curved. And for our butterfly wings, we're going to do two. So a bigger one. The top wing I think looks nice when it's a bit smaller than the bottom wing, but like anything, it can be both. So I'm going to do one that's smaller and one that's bigger. There we go. And our little antenna. And for my butterfly wings, I'm going to add some fun details. So I'm going to add some kind of like icing a cake, little circles on the inside of the wings. And I'm going to add circles on the bottom, just a few, to add some details. So there's my one butterfly. And now I need my second butterfly. So I'm going to start again by drawing a circle and coloring the circle in. Drawing the body. And then the wings. So this one I'll make the wings up top bigger and the bottom one smaller. We'll get a little antenna.
corner. And this one I'll just do four circles. But you can do stripes or you can do patterns, whatever you think looks nice. So I've got my background done. I've got all the little love bugs. You of course can make more. It's as many as you want. Now what I'm going to do is color it all in. So for the background, I mostly colored in with greens. So I'm gonna take one of my green markers and I'm gonna color in all the open spaces in my leaves. I'm going to change green colors to do a lighter green as well, just for some variety. And for this one, I'm going to do every other color, a lighter and a darker green. Perfect, so I've got all my big leaves covered, colored in, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight over top of my other leaves. So I'm gonna take my green, and over my black leaves here and here, I'm gonna just highlight So just like that, really simple. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm just going over the black. And we're gonna do the same technique for our flowers. So I'm gonna choose a color that I want for my flowers. So I'm gonna choose a pink. And I'm going to color over top of my flower in pink to kind of highlight it. So I'm gonna just fill in the gap and color it all in pink. And I like the way that that one looks. So I'm gonna do the same over here. So I'm gonna color this one in pink as well. And I'm just coloring the same way 
that I drew it. Then I'm gonna take a purple, I think, from my other one, and I'm gonna color these three in purple. And I'm just kinda going over it like that in the same kinda motion that I drew it in. Just to highlight and give it some color. And then I'm gonna do the same with my little berries. So I'm gonna do those in like a pinky red. So I'm gonna just kind of color around them so that they have some color too. Okay, so I've got my colored background. Now I'm gonna color in all my little love bugs. So let's start with the bumblebees. Bumblebees are usually yellow, so I'm gonna color mine in yellow, but you can color yours in whatever color you want. So I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna color in my bees. And then I'm gonna take a different color for their wings. So I'm gonna do like an orangey kind of color. So let's see. And I'm gonna do the other one in a more reddish orange. And this is a good color for my ladybugs actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the bodies of my ladybugs in this red. Ladybugs are typically red, but I've also seen them in orange or like a yellow. So there we go. And I forgot to color in the top of my ladybug, his little face. So this little T spot that we didn't color in red, I'm gonna color in black. And for the little wings, I'm gonna do a blue for the wings. So. Now we're gonna color in the rest of our little bugs. So I'm gonna take a purple for my dragonflies. I'm gonna color the top wings this bright purple because that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do the bottom ones this color on this one. I'm gonna take a darker blue and color the top of one of the wings. So let's color the top of this one. There we go. And I'm gonna take a purple 
and I'm gonna color the other set of wings on this one. And now we just have our butterflies to color in. So I think that one of my butterflies should have some pink in it. So I'm gonna color the top set of wings in pink. But I'm not going to color in the spots. Those I'm going to give a different color still. So I'm just coloring in everything but the spots of my wings. Like that. And I'll maybe do the spots of this one in a pink. I'm going to take my magenta and I'm going to color in the top of these wings so it's like a darker pink I'll do the spots of this one in this darker pink color. Now I'm going to do a darker blue for the bottom wings. I'm trying my best to color inside these lines. There we go, and I'll give this one some blue spots. Then I'm going to get my lighter blue because I really like this color. It's one of my favorite colors. So, we'll color our little spots in. I'm going to color this guy's wings. And you can choose any color you want through any of this, but I'm going to choose an orange for the rest of the body. So. So now we've got all of our coloring done. Our little love bugs are looking beautiful. I like the variety of colors and it makes them very fun and playful. So now what we're going to need to do is grab our scissors and we're going to cut around each love bug. So I'm going to peel a piece of paper off, had it taped on. And I'm going to cut each of these out, so I'm going to go around and just, and it's okay to leave some white edge, so I'm not cutting exactly to the shape of my butterfly, because I want to make sure that I don't accidentally cut it. And I'm not cutting in between the antenna, I'm just cutting around it. So 
so the amount of space you want around it is something like that just so you have enough room so i'm gonna set this down and continue cutting the rest dragonfly. Okay, so I've cut out all my little love bugs. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to fold in their wings. So this part's a little tricky, so if you need help from a parent, just ask them. But I'm going to take the one set of wings and I'm going to fold it over like this. Not so that I'm folding it past the body, it should stop, but just so that it folds in like that. And I'm going to do it on both sides. So I'm going to fold that side. So now his little wings flip upwards like that. And when it's standing up, it looks kind of like he's flapping his wings. So you're going to do that for all of your bugs. So I'm going to fold in the sides so that they flip up. And the nice thing is you can always refold it if you don't like the way that it looks. So I'm just refolding like that. So this is my last one that I'm folding. 
Now you're gonna need to grab your glue stick. So I would recommend trying to lay out where you want all of your little love bugs to go first. Kind of get an idea of like where you want them positioned. So have them on your paper laid out before you start gluing. But after you have them laid out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue stick and you're only gonna apply glue on the body, so not on the wings. So I'm gonna just apply glue on just the body, because that's the only part that's gonna stick. And then wherever you want it, you're gonna place the body on just like that, so that his little wings will still be flapping up. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And you wanna be applying the glue on the side that isn't colored. So I'm applying the glue and just putting my little butterfly, whatever I think looks nice. They're just flying around having a nice day, so you can put them wherever you want. So I'm just gluing them on. These little tail flipped out. You might have to add a little more glue once they're on if parts of their body are flipping up that you don't want to. Bees and butterflies, they love to get the nectar and stuff from different plants. That's actually how they eat. So this is lots of fun for them to be flying around, around in the flowers. And there you have it, all of your little love bugs. I'll pull the camera up so that you can see what ended up happening, but we have the original one right here, and then we have ours right here. Lots of different fun colors and different kinds of bugs. So I hope that you enjoyed doing this tutorial. Please send us everything that you create through Instagram or Facebook, whatever you want to share it. Um, and we'll be coming back to you with more tutorials soon. See you guys next time.